Hi, I'm Sain from Sitecore and in this small presentation we will learn to connect a Visual Studio project to Sitecore Rocks connection. Although it is not essential to connect a Visual Studio project to Sitecore Rocks connection, but once our comparison is over, you will surely love to create one to increase your productivity. Remember, Rocks is all about productivity and developer power. A most common requirement in VS project is to add presentation components. Adding a presentation component from Visual Studio is slow, error prone and multi-step operation as you have to create a matching definition item and manually type the path. This is slow and error prone as we may have typo in the path. It also doesn't provide tracking for name or path change and also doesn't automatically updates the corresponding definition item. Further, if we are not connected, we have to manually create definition items for our presentation components and we are not able to get even the use count of our presentation component. On the other hand, once the Visual Studio project is connected to Sitecore connection, you can quickly, safely create presentation components in a single step as Sitecore Rocks will take care of definition item creation and fill in the path field automatically. It will also track the presentation components for name and path change and update the corresponding definition items accordingly. It gives you the ability to create items for presentation components and bind files to item. Lastly, you will also have the options to count how many times a particular file has been referred in the Sitecore instance. Looking at the numerous advantages, it is imperative that we always connect a Visual Studio project with Sitecore to take advantage of all these cool features and be more productive. Let's learn how to connect our Visual Studio project to Sitecore Rocks connection. If you are following along, you already have the Sitecore 7 project running on your machine. In case you are one of those who just joined us, please watch the video titled Creating Visual Studio project for Sitecore outside CMS root on Sitecore CP training YouTube channel. We will also need a connection to Sitecore instance. In case you need to learn how to create a connection to Sitecore using Sitecore Rocks, please watch the video titled Creating a Sitecore Rocks connection on Sitecore CP training YouTube channel. Connecting a Visual Studio project to Sitecore Rocks connection is very easy. Right click on your project, choose Sitecore and select Connect to Sitecore Explorer connection. Choose your Sitecore Rocks connection. In my case, it is Sitecore 7. Select the connection and say OK. We are connected. Let's create a sub layout item and observe how Sitecore Rocks creates corresponding definition item in the content tree. Add new item, expand Sitecore, select rendering, choose a sub layout, name it side menu. Say add. And this will open up the new item dialog box prompting you to choose the location. Select master database, drill down to layouts and choose the sub layouts item as parent. Say OK and we are done. Let's look at the corresponding definition item in the content tree. Expand sub layouts and we observe our side menu definition item. Double click and look at the path. The path has been set up automatically. Let's try to rename the side menu. Now observe the value in side menu definition item. As we see, the value has been updated automatically. That's Psycho Rocks path and name tracking. That's really cool. Let's now try to convert an existing web form into a layout item. Right click the existing web form. Choose Sitecore, select Create Items from Files. Choose a location, I am ok with Layouts location. Say ok, a log is displayed, choose Close. Let's look at the corresponding definition item into Content Tree. Right click, Refresh and we get to see Test Web Form Layout Definition Item. The path is also set up correctly. Finally. Let's look at the search for references option. A query is fired and we get to see 
that this item is being used at one place and the important information such as name and IDs are displayed. We will look at the other context menu options later in greater details. See you in next presentation. We welcome your comments and feedback on our YouTube channel Sitecore CP Training. Your wish, our command. Please share a topic or feature of your choice that you would like to learn next. Once again, I'm Sane from Sitecode. Thanks for watching.